Congress JDS combined last night moved to the Supreme Court challenging the Karnataka governor's decision to appoint a BJP MLA as the pro tem speaker. The apex court will begin the hearing on this plea at 10.30 this morning. It was Chief Justice Deepak Mishra last night who decided to list the matter before the three-judge bench which has been hearing the case. The Congress has claimed that BJP MLA Bopaya's appointment was against the tradition as per which the post should go to the senior most legislator. The petition also urged the top court to have a video recording of the entire trust vote process. The BJP in the meanwhile has hit back at the Congress party saying the party was now hailing the same judiciary which criticized which it criticized a few days back. We can't stop wrong things being done. We can't stop illegalities being done. So, so you can take a legal uh, uh, option that is at your disposal then? The possibility can't be ruled out at all. The governor sir found only such type of a person to be appointed as a, a pro tem speaker. It is nothing but a blatant misuse of the powers of the governor as BJP and RSS wants to get rid of the constitution of Baba Sahib Dr. Bhimra Ambedkar they are doing this so. All right, uh, before I go to my guests who are in the studio and also uh, China NC and Mohammed Khan, let's quickly cut across to my colleague Moshmi Singh. She is with Ramalinga Reddy. Uh, Moshmi, take it away. How confident is the Congress camp? Has every head been counted? Yes, uh, Ramalinga Reddy is with us and uh, nervous moments for the Congress party or perhaps the Congress party seems a bit confident, uh, boosted by the fact that the alliance has uh, become more natural and consensual. So how, uh, uh, how confident are you all, Mr. Kharge and Azad, gone in a briefing session for all the MLAs because in, in that nervous moment, no mistake should happen? Yeah, yesterday itself, uh, our... Uh Chief Minister, former Chief Minister, our, our AIC Secretary and our uh, PCC President, uh, they instructed what to do today. What was the instruction that was given? Uh, instructions is, uh, uh, there are some uh, few new members. Okay, uh, how many new members? Uh, about 22-30 uh, new members are okay. there. Uh, seniors, we have to guide them. The instructions uh, we have given yesterday. We will guide uh, the new members. So considering the fact that the pro tem speaker is of BJP's choice, do you expect foul play and how are you going to guard against foul play? Uh, he is a man who played foul long back. Even Supreme Court passed suchers on Mr. Bopaya. He is, uh, see, according to our constitution, yeah. senior most should be the speaker. Right. See, eight time Mr. Deshpande is there. And six you also claim that Deshpande should be made pro tem speaker. I believe you've written a letter also to the governor. One. And uh, second one is, there are about six MLS elected seven times. There are about uh, uh, 15 MLS elected six times. There are about 15 to 20 MLS elected five times. He is a four-time MLA. He played foul in before last uh, assembly. All right. And uh, Supreme right. Court what saw... What do you expect he would play? Now he can't play anything, but uh, the governor uh, appointment, um, uh, Bopaya Moshmi, is wrong. Moshmi, can you ask Mr. Reddy uh, whether 77 uh, MLAs already? of the Congress party are at this point of time yes, with them the inside the hotel? Sir. Because one we remember, uh, Mr. Anand Singh is not with the Congress party as of now. And what about the two missing MLAs of the JDS? That's right, Ankit. Anand Singh not being with the Congress party. We've also heard Mr. Gora, uh, uh, Pratap, uh, Pratap Gora. He's been in, uh, held in captivity as the Congress alleges. So how many MLAs are here at Hilton? Uh, everybody in the country wants to know that whether Congress has its flock intact. Out of 78, one ship has fallen. Mr. Pratap Gorda is also untraceable. You allege that he's also been held in captivity. So you, do you have 76 plus 2 or what is the number that you have? 78 plus 2. Two independents. <laughs> in 78, two members. They are mentally with us. They are in contact with our leaders. Mentally with you? Uh, 100%. What, what does that mean, sir? They are in contact with, uh, by, for, by forcefully, 
लोकसभा मेंटली इट वोट मैटर इन द विधानसभा दे हैव टू बी ऑन द फ्लोर ऑफ द हाउस देर इन बैंगलोर Uh, they will come okay. to assembly. Boss, we are going to come back to you. I'm going to come back not, to you. You don't know their location, but we know. They will vote. They will vote for uh, Congress. So very interesting, Ankit. Yes. They are in Bangalore. Pratap Gowda and Anand Singh, but the Congress says that uh, they are mentally with them and physically with the BJP. Uh, <laughs> a lot of inner conscience calling and lot of antar atma ki awaz. Uh, you'll hear na, uh, today because <laughs> all the netas and parties, both sides are claiming that vote for the antar atma ki awaz. Antar atma is such a awaz. convenient thing I, to I, call I really, at this I really point of time. I really marvel at this antar atma ki awaz. Always keeps coming back in politics. Only on the trust. for time antaratma is only uh, i mean all these parties can summon their antaratma only at the trust for time thank you so much moshmi for joining us with that uh, quick update from the congress's camp javed who takes the uh, for uh, you know responsibility if the congress doesn't win one thing they can't run away from is the fact that they have not got the confidence of the people and that is why they could not win the number of seats required to come back to power is rahul gandhi the fall guy if they lose the trust vote today And if they win the if they win the trust vote, will you give Rahul Gandhi the credit? I am nobody to give. I am asking Rahul you who, Gandhi, who Rahul takes Gandhi, the blame Rahul and who Gandhi, takes the credit. Rahul Gandhi is in the unenviable position where he where if the Congress wins, somebody else gets the the credit. Where if the Congress loses, inevitably so the who gets the credit if Congress wins? If if the, look, there is no question of getting credit. This is a Vote of confidence. The fact is that the Congress does not have a mandate, hmm. but the fact is that nobody has a mandate, hmm. including hmm. the Congress. Nobody has a mandate. The Com BJP is the single largest party, no doubt. Hmm. But there's a post-poll alliance which has more numbers than the BJP, unless you can poach and ensure that they defect from. China and C. Do you feel that somehow uh, this is in 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 the larger context of 2019? Uh, whether BSY survives uh, this trust vote or not? You've in fact given an opportunity or a cause for the entire opposition to unite against uh, uh, the Narendra Modi uh, factor, the Narendra Modi government in 2019. All the squabbling possibly will go away because they understand that BJP doesn't take any hostages, and they would have to apply the same logic here if they want to fight the BJP. Well I'm not here to strategize for the opposition or to give some kind of a prediction but I can only assure you that 2019 is a clear mandate for Prime Minister Modi he is probably the most honest hard working prime minister we have seen post independence and i think his charisma has spellbound um, 125 crore indians so i don't think this is about um, us versus them or them versus us it is about whose agenda is what we have only talked about positive politics we didn't go out uh, tom toming about how Uh, uh you know somebody from our party is ready to become a prime minister i think that that uh, that was one comment which also cost the congress party heavy where you have mm. mr rahul gandhi going out and saying that oh i'm ready to be the prime minister in 2019 but who's voting him in so the people of this country are very intelligent and they know who they want to support and why they want to support whom right. and if there China, is an integrity China, in your work and a conviction to deliver for the people Shana Javed wants to ask you a question Javed go ahead especially the agrarian crisis the law and order situation George Shana ji good morning sure. this is Javed Ansari you just said that uh, Mr Modi is uh, is by far the most hard working yes, and honest of all the prime ministers that India has had So are you saying that Mr Atal Bihari Vajpayee was less honest than Mr Narendra Modi? No, Javed ji, you cannot uh, cherry pick on a statement. You know exactly what I'm saying. I mean, look at our government's performance. In 4 years there has been no case <laughs> of a scam a and look at the previous governments who that have looted the country and chosen to have blinkers on. So let's not get into that. if you have a, a issue which is to be delivered to the common man how do you do it if your policies are not implemented if people don't look at a, even a, a, as an example a state like karnataka you have agrarian issues you have a law and order situation where even children who are lay raped in schools in bengaluru mr siddaramaiah never chose to respond you have issues where uh, uh, civic issues so China, the elections are, are over you have the elections so are over this election speech is over you spoke about all these things during the campaign as well now the people 
have to, in fact, uh, is that the ball mandate, is in the court of the speakers and the people and the, the MLAs who have been chosen. Also Ultimately, the also the popularity, won't the popularity test for any Prime Minister be with the number of seats that he wins? Prime Minister Modi, of course, has got a brutal mandate uh, in the 2014 elections, but there have been other Prime Ministers who have got more seats uh, in other elections as well. Mohammad Khan, I want to come to you very quickly at this point of time. One thing is settled. For, yes, uh, for the Congress party, yes. the mistake possibly that you did was yes. not to enter into a pre-poll alliance. Has Rahul Gandhi and the Congress party learned the lessons? You can't beat Narendra Modi alone going head to head against him. And that you have seen in, uh, in Karnataka as well. Ultimately, you had to go back to uh, J JDS, in fact, to stop the BJP juggernaut. Uh, Ankit, I wouldn't use the word mistake. I think that, of course, every election offers a chance to learn and move forward. I think there are lessons from this election that are uh, unique to Karnataka and also uh, relevant for the rest of the nation. Uh, because my time is limited, I will. I would like to reply to what Ms. N.C. said. Before that, I want to tell you one very important thing. Uh, as Javid Sam said, this is a fractured mandate. For the BJP to stand before you and audaciously claim that they have been unanimously voted to represent the people is wrong. You know that's incorrect because they have 36% of the vote share. We have 38% of the vote share. And with the DDS, we stand at 56% of the vote share. Which means if you were to take democracy at its barest definition, we are far more eminently qualified by them. Uh, we are eminently more qualified than them, whether we stand alone or with the DDS. Number two, Muhammad? and this is a bit of an academic no, point, as Javid Khan, 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 hey, we Mr. have Khan, a cross path the post system. Mr. Khan, so this I have is a question for you. The government. You said if you had a professional representation system, Ankit, Mr. Khan, automatically they would lose out. They wouldn't even follow the government. Mr. Khan, yes, you, yes, you, yes, Mr. Khan, Mohammed Khan, said, stay on. Javed wants to ask you a question. Mr. Khan, you said every election is an opportunity to learn lessons. You are, yes, you know, right. election, election, election after election. You're using. You're taking forever to learn. Some people say the smart learn with election. Those who are not smart enough never learn. Which category does the Congress fall in? Sir, we are, we, I think you will agree, Javed, sir. Since December on, ever since Rahulji took charge, this has been a very different Congress. It's been a far more aggressive Congress. We have won every single by-election to the Lok Sabha, barring two. Four out of six, we've won. Every single student body election we've swept across the country. Even Karnataka has very valuable lessons for us. Rahulji campaigned as much as Modi ji and won more seats where he campaigned. Hmm. If China okay. measure is Modi ji's hard work and honesty, well, China ji would be appalled to learn that Modi ji in fact, didn't win five of the 20 seats in which he campaigned. That is abysmal by his own standards. And you should be very worried for 2019. Finally, this Javed Sab, you know the, the events of the last three days tell the BJP, this Congress is a very different creature. We will fight them every time they try and cheat. And, and as you say, Mohammed Khan, that this they Congress is a very governor, different Congress. And also people, the BJP claims the that... Uh, we are yes. a party with a difference. More and more people seem to be finding commonalities in the way both these parties function. The BJP blames uh, the, the precedence of the Congress party and you are saying that we have yes, they, they, taken up uh, from the book of the BJP and we are fighting with the same <laughs> aggression. But wait, hold on. Uh, Arki Gaur, very quickly, just going back to the Arke technical point as far as the Supreme Court is concerned. At 10.30 when the court resumes the hearing, what are the key issues that the court would be looking at? A, the, whether the appointment of pro tem speaker is arbitrary or it is normal. Secondly, whether there are circumstances that there should be an independent observer to be appointed by Supreme Court mm. and the uh, election process, the voting process takes place in, in presence of that speaker. Because what is happening in this Karnataka is not hunky-dory. Something is fishy out there which is proven. No, Nobody's is it possible that the court can also, as Javed and uh, you know we were earlier discussing, that in fact say that the pro tem speaker let him uh, administer the oath and then let there be an election for the speaker, which more or less will settle the trust vote as well. See, uh, yesterday in yesterday's hearing, it was held by Supreme Court that no uh, policy decision would be taken by the uh, Yadurappa, but whether uh, the governor's action of appointing pro tem speaker is all right mm. that needs to be looked into mm. what are the technicalities uh, rigged up by uh, congress on what grounds they have assailed the constitutionality of uh, appointment of uh, the speaker yes is uh, to be looked into yes he has the prerogative to china appoint and see speaker china and see who takes the blame uh, and, and and i asked this question uh, uh, and, and in fact uh, from javed as well on the congress's part but 
who takes the blame if bsy today is not able to retain his chair is it mr amit shah is it jadurappa whose career is over who takes the blame and and of course you're going to say that we are going to sail through humor me at this moment uh, just uh, tell me hypothetically if you don't sail through who is the fall guy for karnataka bjp I don't believe in your hypothetical argument. Uh, we are making the government, and do understand that Mr. Yedurappa will be the chief minister. There is no question. Mr. Amit Shah, as our party president, has delivered not just in the organizational structure, but also to the level that the Karikartas actually take out the voters to the voting booth and the polling booth. And likewise, we will do the same with the legislators who believe in the ideology of the BJP and the uh, leadership of Prime Minister Modi. The question is, who are those eight MLAs? From where you will bring them in? Well, China is saying there are people those who are absolutely fascinated by the Prime Minister, and possibly their conscience is now I, I, going I, I to. I don't think that we need to expose every strategy on national television. Oh, absolutely not. But uh, no matter how much you try and keep it under wraps, China, <laughs> once the trust vote starts uh, on the floor of the house, these things are going to be exposed, and we'll be talking and about watch. them uh, post uh, four p.m. Hours. Absolutely. We are going to take a very quick break at this point of time. As of now, everybody is confident. It seems there are going to be two governments that are going to form uh, after the uh, trust vote. Uh, at 4 p.m. It's just about uh, less than seven hours uh, uh, that is uh, now left for the trust vote to take place in Karnataka. We'll get you minute by minute updates. Quick break at this moment. Coming back, this is our top focus. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel, we know you would love to.